Hey, what's up, guys? Holy crap, the day is finally here. Ponda Own has released his Uncovered Jailbreak for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, this is just the first beta that supports Cydia, but it's epic, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install it. So, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Cydia Impactor to sideload this from your computer to your iPhone, and then we just need the beta 29 version of this project right here. Again, all of these links are down below in this video's description. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you're excited to jailbreak. Hit that subscribe button for future updates. Let's get into this. Let's just click on this project file right here, and it's downloading directly to my desktop. Now, while that is loading, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Cydia Impactor right here. Now, the supported devices currently are the iPhone 6s all the way up to the iPhone 10. So it's A9 processors, A10 processors, and a11 processors but unfortunately there is no a7 processor or a8 processor or a12 processor support yet so some major devices are missing from this release like the iphone 10s 10s max 10r iphone 6 and iphone 5s but if you have an iphone 6s 6s plus 7 7 plus 8 8 plus or iphone 10 Running iOS 12 to 12.1.2 or any of the betas in between, this jailbreak is going to work for you. All right, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and plug our devices into our computer just via a standard lightning cable right there in the back. And then a very next thing, we're basically just gonna make sure within the settings app, we're gonna go down to general and then go to iPhone storage and you're going to ensure that there's no pending over the air software update waiting for you here. If that is all good, um, I'll let it load here for just a second. I don't know why it's taking so long, but basically if you don't have a software update pending, you are all good to go. It will show up right at the top because usually they're pretty big. Now I previously had the tvOS profile installed, so it's not even going to check for these updates. So I'm good now that I don't have that installed. Well, with our devices plugged in, now we can just drag and drop this uh, IPA right here onto Cydia Impactor. We can enter our Apple ID right here and uh, click OK. And so now we need to generate an app-specific password if you have two-factor authentication logged in. So you're gonna go to Apple's website, log in with your Apple ID, and generate an app-specific password. We'll just call it Uncover and click Create, and it will give us this passcode right here. We're gonna minimize that screen and paste in this passcode. And now it's going to sideload this IPA from the computer to our iPhone so we can begin to jailbreak on device. Now, in the very near future, I'm sure some of the third-party applications like Ignition and things like that are going to include this latest beta, but as of recording this video, Uncover just came out. It has yet to be updated on any of the third-party sites, so you have to sideload it with the computer. And again, if you try to open it right after sideloading it, it won't open. We have to go to the Settings app, go to General, and scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, select our Apple ID, and trust that. And now we can go into the Uncover Jailbreak. And there we have it, guys. One application, Uncover Jailbreak for iOS 11 to 12.1.2. That is just incredible, guys. This is what it looks like right here. Um, if you guys are curious, beta 29 is what you wanna be on right there. But let's go ahead and do this. We're just gonna hit jailbreak. It's gonna go ahead and go through the process of jailbreaking our iPhones right now. Now, if this utility is anything like the previous versions of Uncover, it's going to actually have to be run twice. The first time, it's going to create a snapshot of our file system. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it crashed out, so we'll go ahead and let the device restart and try this one more time. All right, well, let's go ahead and click jailbreak and see what happens here. And there we go, guys. This time it seems to be working perfectly fine. Let's see what prompt comes up here once it's done. It says exploiting. That looks really sweet. I love this little command line here that's going on so you can see what's happening in the background. 
Oh my God, I'm so excited. There we go, guys. That is the notice that you will receive. Bootstrap has been successfully extracted. The device will now be restarted. And we can go ahead and select OK. And like I was saying before, we're actually going to have to let the device turn on and run this jailbreak utility a second time around. Again, this is only going to happen the first time you jailbreak. This jailbreak, just to clarify, is just a semi-untethered jailbreak. It's not a fully untethered jailbreak, meaning every time you're device restarts, you will actually have to run this application to re-enable the jailbreak on your device. But in my opinion, I almost like this better because you really can't boot loop your device. You can't install something that just puts you in a respring loop. Um, every time you restart your device, you'll boot up into the non-jailbroken state, and then you can later re-enable the jailbreak. So here we go, second time, and we've gotten further and further. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't say installing Cydia this time, but not to fear, Cydia is currently being installed in the background. We'll just have to wait here just a couple more seconds for this utility to finish up. Oh my god, guys, I cannot believe an iOS 12 jailbreak is out. Again, this is for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone 7. There we go, jailbreak complete, and it looks like it just restarted. Maybe it's doing a respring. It is doing a respring, guys. There we go. That is incredible. So for whatever reason, the very first time it didn't work, but not to fear, the second time it did work very easily. Um, supposedly this exploit this time around is supposed to be really reliable, but there we have it guys, Cydia. And just to confirm with you, I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm on iOS 12.1.2. Here we go into Cydia for the first time on iOS 12, guys. I'm so stoked. Getting back to what I was saying before, this is for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10, and a few iPad models in between there. For full details, check the description. So it looks like we have a couple errors not to fear. There's probably bound to be a few changes and updates needed. Wow, it saved a lot of my sources from my iOS 11 jailbreak. That's really funny. Don't install that repository, guys. That's a bad one. That's a no-no. Don't do that. But guys, there we have it. Cydia is fully running. Screw it. Let's go ahead and install a tweak. What is your guys' favorite tweak down below? Let me know. Um, I'm really curious. Well, instead of searching, let's just go into like an actual legitimate repository like PackIX. Here, oh, there's a lot of stuff now. Wow. Um, what should I install first? God, all right. Well, let's just go with the, the classic... Um, let's go ahead and click modify and install. I might have to log in here first. Uh, no, it recognizes my device ID and this is my very first package guys installing on the iOS 12 jailbreak. That simple, that was super quick. Man, it looks like Cydia is running perfectly fine, but there we have it, guys. If I scroll down, iPhone 10 6, this is the iPhone 10, the GSM version, iOS 12.1.2. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. I think the very first thing I like to install is Swipe for More, so you can queue up multiple packages at the exact same time. So that, as well as Flame, are like the first two things that I like to install right after jailbreaking. Let's go ahead and click Restart and see exactly what happens here um yeah that seemed to install perfectly fine let's go into Cydia once more and ensure this is actually working um i'm just gonna go into the install tab once it's done right down here and uh yeah guys there we go it successfully installed swipe for more um again this is how you queue up either queuing to install or queuing to delete let's go ahead and do one more and see if this works let's go ahead and do flame and click there and click install and click confirm. This will let you guys add sources directly from your clipboard. So if I'm at the install tab right here, as you guys can see, Flame also installed so I can export my sources or tweaks list or both. Also within sources, when I go edit add, you now have batch mode as well as the regular normal mode. But batch mode is awesome because whatever is in your clipboard, it will automatically start installing that in the background within Cydia. Holy crap, guys, it is here. The iOS 12 jailbreak with Cydia is finally out. Again, this is just in beta stages. I will have multiple follow-up videos for you guys letting you know how stable it is, but this is far more stable than the rootless jailbreak. I can already tell, guys, that installation process was a piece of cake. So thank you so much, Pwn to Own, and everyone working on the Uncovered Jailbreak. It's going to be an awesome jailbreak season, guys. I can't wait to share more with you.
Um, if you guys want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates for iOS 12, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, guys, this is Tony signing out.